Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Von Duprin. This is their part number 1439. That US 19 just means black. That's the color of this strike. It's made in black. Um, let's pull it out of the packaging and let's take a visual tour of the item. And then we'll talk about what it is, where you use it, and we'll look at some supporting documentation as well. Okay, so here's really the business end. This is the 1439. They call this a blade stop strike. Aluminum storefront uh, very commonly has what's called a blade stop. It is a very thin piece of aluminum that can have an inserted uh, seal to it, pile generally is what you'll see. The bottom line is there is really no soffit when you have a blade stop. I mean, there is technically a soffit. It's whatever the thickness of the blade is, I suppose. But there's nowhere to attach a strike to. So um, a blade style compatible strike, especially with the Von Duprin 3335 series, because that material is a 98.99, except it has a narrow case, a uh, narrow head case, so that it works with your aluminum storefront material. Let's go over some dimensional properties as we go through. Overall height of the strike, about an inch and three quarter. Overall width, about an inch and seven eighths. Comes with a shim. Uh, the important thing of the shim, of course, would be the thickness. The shim's not really referred to in the documentation. Probably is in a 33 series uh, installation uh, guide. The shim thickness is 0 .057, so 0 .057 thick. There's also going to be a scar plate, or a rub plate, I suppose you might uh, call it. Uh, it'll be clear what this is used for. Overall width, about 2 and 3 sixteenths. Overall height, about an inch and an eighth. It's very thin, probably 30 thousandths would be my guess. Uh, 0 .032. 0 .032. There will be the stop, the adjustable stop portion that will install in this area with these small serrations that are there. That same feature is on the back side of the movable stop and that will basically just allow you to tailor exactly where that device is going to rest against so to speak. And the remaining components we'll have will be two wood screws or two machine screws for the strike itself, you'll use two of the four, and then you'll have some very tiny rivets, and those rivets are what is going to allow you to, um, these are not rivets, um, these are hammer anchors. There's a term for this, I would think of it as a hammer, uh, a drive-in style anchor. They have hammer drive-ins for masonry. Um, and that's basically what happens when you get that scar plate or the rub plate in position. You're going to tap. When you drill that hole, you'll tap that down, and that will force that to expand in the backside, allowing it to grab onto the wall of the aluminum uh, frame uh, is what that's used for. Uh, now, where is this going to be used? Let's talk about that now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So this item is um, going to be used in aluminum storefront applications. It is compatible with um, other device types like a 99 and you certainly don't have to use it for aluminum storefront only but there have been times when clients uh, have ordered this and it's because they've got the back set incorrect on the standard application. So they've brought that too close to the door and don't and, and are looking for every sixteenth of an inch so they don't have to relocate function holes um, or buy a new door. So this presents the ability to have the head case closer to the stop or the soffit of the stop. Um, and you'll have to prep that out in the back for that to go. Um, you have to cut that for the latch to go into. And we'll look at the template in a moment as well. Um, so aluminum storefront is really where you'll see this strike. According to the manufacturer, um, you can use this in other applications, and I think the best thing to do is to, let's go to the screen view, let's look at all the supporting documentation. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. 
let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look first at some images that we have. There's the item in its packaging, everything removed. Two sets of screws, the riv nuts. Well, they're not riv nuts, hammer in style. This is your shim. That's obviously needs to be turned around. This piece will sit on top of here so that you can tailor that positioning of where the strike needs to be. Scar plate, fasteners, scar plate with its fasteners, its nail-ins. Tamp-ins might be what those are called, tamp-ins. Uh, machine screws and wood screws and then those tamp-ins. You can see how that would work. Now, let's take a look at the item itself, see what information we have. 1439 blade stop, this is used for 22, 33, 35, it worked for 99 as well. 9899. The strike is for standard single door applications where the door does not have a stop. The strike does the jobs of both strike and stop. Um, we'll look at the template and talk about that in a moment. Available in black only. The dimensions they give you. Minimum style dimension for this strike is 3 and 13 sixteenths. <clears throat> That's another area um, where someone's fighting for real estate when they've got, um, when they're restricted to a, a minimum style sort of dimension. If you're using a standard 299 strike, you know, it's going to eat up some of your ability to get that device installed. Um, this allows you to move it over a little bit. We'd have to look at the dimensioning of a 299 strike. Maybe we'll encounter that as we go through the catalog. Or actually, let's do it now. Cut sheet is here. This is going to show up in the um, in different device types, the 9899. Showing what the 1439 looks like. Shown in the 3335 series. So let's back up a little bit. Used in a 9899 series, you've got a minimum style of 3 and 13 sixteenths. Um, the 299, let's see. You can see, depending on, you can see that that dimension has to be larger. So, you know, 15 16 greater when you've got, um, you know, the 299 acting as the middle strike there. Uh, now looking at the 3335, and by the way, the only difference between a 33 and a 35 and a 98 and a 99 is, is aesthetic. It's how the case is grooved. Same dimension, same table in the uh, 33, the 30 series, we'll call it. 33 is going to have a much smaller style dimension because that's the device that has the very narrow head case. As you can see right here. Okay. And that dimension was two inch. And really all we have here is just the catalog with showing the instances of where the 1439 um, is, is shown. And that's what we're looking at here. Now, there is a link as well to installation instructions from a 30, a 30 series. There's your 1439 strike. Showing what the installation would look like. So when they say that it acts as a stop as well, I mean, I don't, 
I don't think that it acts as a stop as well. I mean, you're, you're and we'll look at the template. <clears throat> you are cutting through the blade stop, but the blade stop is still is still there. That's a nice image showing what the preparation needs to look like. Now let's look at the template. The template will obviously show everything exactly. Again, they don't really refer to that shim that's there, but it's there. That's your prep center line. Corresponds to the uh, device center line as well. So the center line of the strike is the device center line. If you're measuring off the door for the device, you'll have to add likely an eighth of an inch for the underside of the head to the center line of the strike. This scar plate dimension strike lip is obviously intended for a typical inch and three quarter thick door. Um, if you had a door thickness that was greater than that, I don't think I would go necessarily being concerned about that. Um, you know, your, your, your scar plate won't make it all the way back. By that time, the latch bolt is, um, you know, going to be, well, it'll be quite close to making contact because that roller hangs off a little bit. I've not encountered that as a problem, so I'm going to guess and go with that it's not an issue. So there's the template for that. Then there is, uh, that's all of the documentation that we have. There's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. And from there, we can pull up not only all of the Von Duprin products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as link to the full product catalog. And other encyclopedic documents are above there as well, such as templates, parts manuals, um, the A, I was looking for it, the A117.1 uh, design guide for accessible buildings, you know, also known as ADA, that's there. A couple of manufacturer produced videos are here, very interesting. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, we've taken ourselves a little bit of a look at this 1439 strike. They did not list it uh, for use in the 22 series. Um, I don't know that it's incompatible with the 22 series. I believe at one time it certainly was listed because that's how we have it listed. Um, there might be a different strike in the 22 series. Uh, and if you needed to explore that, one nice thing about the Von Duprin catalog is that they're always, they have always been uh, very logically laid out. So once you realize, okay, in the exit device section, you've got these separated series, and then through the series will go the rim, surface vertical rod, concealed vertical rod, other derivatives of those items as well. Exceptional technical support at Von Duprin. Um, very much appreciated. It is the ability to sell such a high quality item is only enhanced by world class technical support. And to them, I say thank you. Any questions on the Von Duprin 1439 blade stop style strike or any other Von Duprin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.